hi all almost a year since it was launched right gmat is bringing about welcome changes to the gmat online examination right let's look at what are the changes they brought in five changes all of these are five welcome changes which are candidate friendly test taker friendly and there was one very sweet deal that was available with the online version that deal they have not removed in the changes that are coming into effect when are these changes coming into effect these changes will be effective from the 8th of april almost two months from the time this video has been shot right let's take a look at the five changes all of those are welcome right where do you find out information about all of this in the official mba.com site the url is mba.com slash exams slash gmat hyphen online right so basically you can go and check it out on the official site too let's take a look at each one of these changes one at a time the first one is that the online examination till the april 7th will not have this section awa right analytical writing assessment you only had the remaining three sections you took the quant section verbal section and integrated reasoning what is the problem what's a big deal in having this or not having this right though many schools said that they would be indifferent to which version of the test that you take whether the test center based version or the online version officially they made this announcement but when you spoke to some of these admissions officers they said they have a preference for those scores which were submitted with the awa that put students at an kind of a dilemma right see the school say that they are okay they'll accept the online scores but then they say we have a preference for those scores which are submitted with the awa obviously with the online version you can't take the awa which means you have to go for a test center based version and that in certain countries where there is second wave of covid and like where test centers may not be open and even if they are open you don't want to put yourself at risk of contracting the disease right so you were wondering should i go ahead and go with the online version or should i wait for the test centers to open let's wait for the vaccination program to roll out so that i can take the test center based version and have the awa score also as part of my official score right this was always running at the back of many students mind right from april 8th because the online version makes available with the awa section any score report they are going to be submitting whether it's online or test center based is going to have scores of all four sections so now they made it on par right this is a welcome change so that puts all of us at rest i say that we don't have to worry about whether my score without the awa is the same as the score with awa so you can choose the online version it's going to have the section for the score for the fourth section also the second welcome one is basically score preview when you took the online version of the test right you finish the test there is a suspense period you have to wait for 8 to 10 days to actually get to know how much you scored in the examination in the test center based version the moment you finish the test it will ask you shall i score your your test and you'll say yes and you got a preview of your unofficial scores you got the scores of the integrated reasoning quantitative section verbal section and what you scored on 800 available to you probably 20 seconds 30 seconds from the time you click that button that feature was not available in the online version because gmat wanted to ensure that the test was administered properly there is no malpractices that went into it they wanted to scrutinize it before they released the scores so they took 8 to 10 days and it's going to be the same till the 7th of april now after having run it for a year and having got the entire uh, process in shape gmat wants to make the score feature available to you so you will get to see a preview of your unofficial score for integrated reasoning quantitative reasoning verbal section and what you have scored on 800 the moment you finish the online version of the test pretty much the same way you got to do it in the test center based version obviously as of the test center based version your official score report will be available and that will include the awa score from the 8th of april 7 business days from the time you took the test right so this is the second one and this is also a welcome change the third one the online version of the test gave you a predetermined order in which you have to take the test quant verbal and ir the test center based one gave you three options you could select the order in which you could take the test right the default one is awa ir quant and verbal the two variants which are available and you selected it just before you started the test it could be verbal quant ir awa or quant verbal ir awa this feature of selecting the order in which you want to take exactly the same three orders will be made available for the online version too so this is again a welcome change so if you are comfortable starting with quant or verbal you need not switch one for the other in the online version because for example i am comfortable starting with verbal online version did not permit me to do that now that feature being brought in is going to add one more added benefit to the students and it's going to make the test so much more closer to how the test center based version is the fourth one is about the breaks optional breaks used to be about 5 minutes in the online version there are 8 minutes in the test center based from april 8th it becomes 8 minute even for the online version 
the fifth one particularly for indian test takers right till now you needed to have a passport to take the gmat online version starting april 8th you could have your aadhar card an aadhar card is a substitute it's not a secondary one it's a substitute for using the passport as a proof of identity so you have an aadhar card which is linked to a mobile number which is essential then you can use the aadhar card and the mobile otp to be able to use as a proof of identity instead of the passport so if you either don't have a passport or your passport is expired and you're not sure whether it is going to be renewed in time you can use your aadhar card provided you have one right so these are all the welcome features that have been brought into the test right what are those AWA is made available from 8th April. So the test is on par with the test center based one. Second one, you get to get a preview of your score exactly the same way it's available in the test center base. So at the end of the test, you know what you have scored. You don't have to wait for a week or 10 days to know what you scored, right? Third one is about the select section order. It's not a predetermined one order. You get the same three choices available with the test center based version. The fourth one is about the optional breaks. You get eight minute optional break instead of the five, which is available with the online version. And lastly, proof of identity. It is no longer a passport. It also can be an Aadhaar card, right? So these are all welcome changes. A very sweet deal that GMAT made available for the online version of the GMAT test, which they have not removed, which is a welcome thing. And that is the unlimited score sending. In the test center based version of the examination, you got to send scores to five schools free of cost. If you have to send your score to the sixth school, you need to request GMAC for an additional score report, each of which cost US dollars 35. Whereas in the online version, you could send your score to unlimited number of schools. You want to apply to 40 schools, send scores to all 40. GMAT is not going to charge you an extra cent. They maintain that benefit, that feature, even after 8th of April. So you don't, if you take the online version, in addition to the test becoming exactly the same as the test center based version on all aspects, this benefit which was made available has not been removed, right? You get to, at the, the day you get your official score, from that point onwards, you can start requesting GMAC to send scores to schools and it will be available within eight hours of the candidates requesting it, right? So these are all the features. So one good thing that's happened is, depending upon which part of the world you live in, right? You may not have really wanted or you may not have had an option to take the test at the test center. And you'll be forced to take the test only as an online version. And you always knew the online version had certain limitations compared to what was available in the test center based version. So these two tests were not actually apples to apples. GMAT has now made it as similar as possible. They're actually now apples to apples. So if you're planning to prepare for the GMAT and you were like planning to, you had put it on hold saying that, hey, let me wait for this COVID vaccination to roll out. Let me wait for the test centers to open. I want to take the test center based examination because that's the real GMAT, whereas this is not. This is what some of the students have said. They said that it is not like to like, the AWA is not there. There are like features which are not the same as the test center based version. So I'm going to put it on hold. That excuse has now been removed. The online version, is exactly the same, not practically, is exactly the same as the test center based version. So do not put your GMAT preparation or your GMAT test taking process on hold. Give yourself about four months of preparation. Visaco runs a comprehensive GMAT live online classes thrice a week for 12 weeks. Top it with another four to five weeks of self-study and mock examination. 16 to 17 weeks from now, you're ready to take the GMAT, right? Let's give or take by July of this year, you would have your GMAT score. You have a GMAT score by July, then you can apply to the schools for fall 2022 or for spring 2022 admissions, right? Catching them in the early round of the application cycles. Get started today, do not postpone any further. Follow us on these social media handles, right? Be it Instagram, Twitter, Quora, Facebook, Pinterest, the handle is Visako GMAT. On YouTube, our channel is Visako. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you get notified every time we add a new video. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation.